let's dive into the interesting realm of viscosity, a fascinating property that affects how fluids flow. Get ready to uncover the factors that make fluids thick or thin and explore how we compare the viscosity of different liquids, including something called volumetric flow rate. Imagine you're pouring honey and water from a bottle. Have you ever noticed how the honey flows slowly while water glides more easily? That's because of viscosity, the measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. Now let's unravel the secrets behind viscosity by understanding its influencing factors. Temperature plays a starring role. When a fluid is warm, its molecules move faster, reducing its viscosity. Cold fluids, on the other hand, have slower moving molecules, making them thicker. Next up is thickness. Imagine honey and water again. Honey is thicker due to the size and shape of its molecules. In contrast, water molecules are smaller and more streamlined, making it flow more freely. Another factor is pressure. Under high pressure, fluids compress and become thicker. Think of deep sea diving. The deeper you go, the denser the water becomes. Now let's dive into volumetric flow rate, a fancy term for how much fluid flows through a specific area in a given time. Imagine a river. When it rains heavily, the river's volumetric flow rate increases as more water rushes through. We can compare the viscosity of various fluids using a simple experiment. Take a bunch of liquids, water, syrup, oil, and pour them down an inclined plane. Notice how quickly or slowly they move. The one that moves faster is less viscous, while the slower one is more viscous. So, the next time you're pouring syrup for pancakes or watching water flow down a river, remember that viscosity is the secret ingredient determining how smoothly fluids glide or sluggishly crawl.